So Williams, I've seen your your YouTube channel. I don't know something about it is just very entertaining. Uh it's your choice. Good day, um, this is Stuart Williams. I'm trying to do a, a little bit of difference on my channel. I'm trying to do some interviews and get the insights of the athletes themselves so they can answer the question. I'm trying to get draw them out a little bit more. Um, different type of questions, not the typical questions. Um, a, little, a little bit different. See what kind of reaction I can get. Um, today is our first interview, first episode. We have Johan Blake, second fastest man in the world. Currently, he is still the fastest man uh, active right now. So, I have to give him respect for that. Um, Johan Blake. Good to have you, sir. Good to have you. Thank you for having me. Um, now, I'm trying to yeah, get the interviews them going. Um, yeah. So, just introduce yourself a little bit more information about yourself, things that somebody might not know otherwise. Well, everybody knows second fastest man on the planet. I'm also, just that people know that I'm a lover of cricket. And also a little bit of watch eight movies every day. Well, right now I can't get to watch a movie that I want. But um I love to sing. Um I like to write, sit and write movies, mm -hmm. um screenwriting as well. So a little bit of that in my in my time and my training. Okay, okay. So question, where does the love of cricket come from? Well my father. Is a lover of cricket. Cause back in the days, you know, it was just only cricket in Jamaica. And my father used to tie me in front of the TV, literally with cars, and to the radio to say, Listen, you're going to listen to this cricket with me today. And that's where the love really come from. And growing up, me and my friends, Damien and now those guys back in Mobi, every every day we used to play cricket. So it was just a tradition for us. Okay, okay. Well, we're done. On your time of 9.6 and 9.2, no one has seen this season to even run near to those times. How do you feel about the current sprinters right now? You know what, um, as we say, that started, we started from Atafa, where those were records, and then the same come and take over the mantle. And then, you know, um, joining the same in that era. Great sprinting with Tyson Gill, Walter Dix, and all those um, other guys, you know, um, respect you. And it's not easy to run those ty um, times. My training was different. Coach Mills, back then, would have to tell me, you want, you got to take some time. Coach Mills gave me some time off because I was too fit for training, mm -hmm. you know. So um, I think. The current sprinters, they're running really well, you know, um, I, must, I must give it to them. You know, if I call names, I'm going to be biased because everyone, majority of them are, are doing well. But um, they're running well and uh, 196 and 192 and 191 is not, is not an easy task. And that says impossible, but it's not an easy task. Okay, okay. Well, we are here. We're not at the World Championship. We all know what happened well. Some of the people might not know. So tell us why you're not at the World Championship. You know, this is um it's been a bittersweet season for me. Um sometime God put me in a position where I think other people need uh, chances as well and you know this was was going to be probably my ninth world championship. You know, and all started at the trials, which I'm um, hot in every day. You know, no one wants to miss out on a world title. No one wants to miss out on a world championship, you know, because when you look back on all the, all the accolades, that's what's going to tell the story. And yeah, when I first started, um, everything was just shattered in my mind. That's why I'm not at the world championship right now. But um, sometimes it's a blessing in disguise for different things. And I have to be optimistic about what's to come. So that's why I'm really not at the World Championship. I'm here in Austria, of course, at the Sports Centrum, a wonderful facility. You guys should check it out. 
Um, he thought it's been a really great time. It's been really nice here. Okay, okay. I was going to ask you about the facility. I've been here and the facility is quite nice. They have indoor, they have outdoors, a lot of equipment, some equipment that I think Jamaica should need to enhance the program down there, but that's for another time. All right. So being that you're not at the World Championships now, I know it must be hard watching it on TV, competing with all those guys, with those guys at the Diamond League, stuff like that. What motivates you right now? Well, for me, um, not being there, of course, watching it is disappointing, of course, but to be honest, you got to be a team player, you got to support while you can and enjoy um, all those moments because I wouldn't want to see that position running and a lot of people didn't make it and you know they support me and they have to show, um, show my support of course but um, what motivates me is just I'm hungry you know I'm still hungry I know what I can do um, I still have a lot in the tank I still have a lot to achieve same way um, and I know my body feels and my body has been feeling really well because I do protect my body and I do take pride in, in my body okay okay um, trying to move too fast, we're trying to get the questions. You know, you're a busy man. We know that you have a next interview after this one, so we're trying to get it out of the way. Um, so how does the, the Jamaican team look to you right now? How does it look? How are you coming on now? You know, it um, started off a bit shaky. You know, um, very, very unfortunately, it's not the thing that happened to with some of the athletes and um, on the team. And, you know, to those, um, to those who medal, uh, con uh, congratulations to them, you know. After so much hard work, for about much months and years, um, I stayed off, and now the surprises that we keep on showing up. You know, um, they are performing well. Um, we should have some more medals to probably even challenge the US at, um, uh, for the top contender. But we're being optimistic, and the team is looking good. Um, I just hope they stay with their chemistry and um, and in high school. Okay. Okay. Well, leading on to my one of my next questions then. What are your thoughts about the USA taking back the, the 100 meter men and the 100 meter women? I believe um, in life we have changes. Jamaica has been dominant, to be honest. We have been dominant throughout the years, and sometimes you're going to have some shift. And life is just is life is just up and down. There's never straight. There is not a straight road um, to the top, and you're going to have ups and downs. And so, um, congratulations to USA taking back the title. And that that show that um as a little bit as we are as they say we little but we follow in Jamaica I just that is the dot on the map to show that we can challenge anybody in the world. Okay, okay. Well, this channel I don't want to go too much in too much of the drama. We all see what's going on with the whole situation with the Jamaica team internally. We don't want to stray too much with that um. Your thoughts, your solution, what you would do with that relay tool, what would you, how would you do, how would you set it up? I don't have no thoughts, leave alone. <laughs> <laughs> leave alone. <laughs> no. not, it's, not, it's not my grounds. Not your grounds? Not my grounds. <laughs> okay, okay. I mean, um, what is the next, what, what is the race it? You most look forward to to see to watch that entertain you what race you know um, as much as all the sprints are entertaining in the world championship the 50 meter um woman was was, was really incredible really and yeah uh you know we have been given the middle distance um and distance runner credit and what they're doing is 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 crazy and it's it's unbelievable you know um and all those 5,000 feet, semis and come back and final, it, it's madness. But at the same time, it's incredible because to push your body for so, for so much, you know, um, I, I, I'm really look, looking forward to those 5,000 and that steeple chase was interesting as well. You know, I have to look to the, um, the woman and the man shot put and discuss. Um, I think those are some things that I really enjoy with the... It, it, I, I'm, I'm getting a notion that you seem to stray away from the sprints because you are in the sprints so you look towards the other events that entertain because when you look at the sprints it's more that 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 you know that, that aggression towards your, your events 
your friends wear yellow socks. You may focus on the other ones to give them some love. To be, to be very intelligent and don't procrastinate too, too much. I would say not really because from from ever since I know I, I love this time running. You know, from um, Renisha days, even before Renisha, there was Ethiopians and those things. It was really entertaining. And to see their moving at a high speed and at such a long distance, it was just incredible. All right. Yeah, um, so, I have a next one for you. I have a next one for you. What? How, how, how do I put it? I, I want to get that answer from you, but you, you, you're so political, I don't know how to, you know. What are some of the, the most? Attractive lady you have seen at the World Championship. Leave alone. <laughs> Leave alone. <laughs> no, you must be able to. Leave alone. You must be able to. I haven't really, seen a female. I haven't really looked at a female. You know, I was just focusing on distance and all those. But... <laughs> Okay, okay, Let, let's leave it alone then, let's leave it alone. So there are no world championships, you know, it's going on right now. Um, so what's next? What's next here, training in Australia, as I said before. I'm looking, I'm looking forward to the racing the cars in the Diamond Leagues. And also, importantly, the Diamond League finals. I've, throughout my career, I've never got a Diamond. I haven't really run for it because um, I didn't need to. But when I look back, I really I, I wanted to just have it to show that um to show it within my collection. So I really looking forward to that final. Uh, so I, I, I would say that a real bold move and real bold stance to put it out there in the world to tell them that hey, I'm coming for that. That's what I want. Not really, but you have to be confident in what you want to do and just go for what you want, you know. Okay, okay. So that's um I would have one more I would have one more um question. I mean um I don't I don't know how we're going to do this question if I'm going to be able to release this part of the, the interview. Yeah, but stay tuned. That's one history. In the history books. <laughs> but uh, definitely I don't know. We have to do some checks to we'll make sure I'm probably it's probably right, so we have to make some checks and see. Just make sure if I ever want to go. Subscribe, like and share the video, isn't it? Yeah, man.